What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today we're doing a little bit of a review video. Usually I do um, very thorough review videos when I'm reviewing a product fully, but right now um, I'm only reviewing the Stream Deck um, and its software. So if you guys want me to do a full Stream Deck, um, just physically the Stream Deck itself, then I'll do that. Leave a like on this video and I'll see if you guys want me to do it. If we reach 10 likes, then I will end up doing that. And for this video, I'm just going to do the software because it was a little bit hard for me to figure out how to do some of the programming and um, how to find it on the internet because there aren't that many videos of the software. So I'm going to show you um, up close and right now we're going to create another profile just to show you what it looks like. So when you get your stream deck, it looks like this. There's nothing attached. And what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you four different things. I'm gonna show you how to make a folder. I'm gonna show you how to make an action. I'm gonna show you how to make an application. And I'm just gonna show you some cool techniques. So first of all, we're gonna do a folder. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to system. And system has all of these open. So obviously you want system open and you want Stream Deck open. Stream Deck has the folder icon, which you can drag right there. And if we go back to my uh, default profile, you can see I have a folder there, folder there. This, These six are folders. This is just a programmable button and then action. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be showing you uh, folders, um, applications, actions, and cool techniques. So right here we have our folder, and if you press that, it keeps going. So we go into here, and then we can create another folder. And then that goes even farther. But right now we're just going to delete that, because we don't need it. So we have one folder there. And then what we're also going to have is have a profile, because we have different profiles. Now what we're also going to do is, we'll leave that open. We're going to make um, hotkeys are if you want to program uh, different keys on your keyboard to do something. We're gonna have open, and then techniques. So techniques are more actions. That's what I was talking about, but I didn't want to say action twice. So we have the um, techniques, which I'll drag onto the screen now. So this is the techniques and or more actions. So it shows that you can do most popular, installed, recently updated, alph alphabetically. And these are applications that aren't actually on here. There are more applications. So some that I have installed are Analog Clock, Audio Mute, which you can see is in my um, audio right there. So we're going to go back to my profile too, and we have our actions, and then we can uh, just show you what a technique looks like. Um, so I have the Analog Clock here. I think it might be... Right here, yeah, analog clock. So we have our analog clock, which is perfect. And um, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do um, applications. Well, we'll show you this, okay? So if you go to open, so open is right here. Open, I would use for websites and different applications that aren't necessarily apps, okay? Because when you do that, you have to go into their target, which I'll show you in a second. So uh, this is what I'm going to show you. First of all, we have our folder. Obviously, if you want to drag something into your folder, you just drag it and put it in the folder. Then your folder has that now. And then if you want your folder to have a certain profile picture, you're going to double click this, and then it shows you all of your different, all of your different files, and you can go through your pictures and pick a picture. So we have our um, profile button, which will bring us to either the next profile or a default profile. And we have our welcome, which you can delete and make a different, uh, a different, um, let's see, a different application. So right here, I have a picture of a burrito because you already know it's burrito. So we're gonna go on to what I found the hardest was opening in applications. So we're gonna minimize the screen. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna drag, um, Steam onto the screen, as you can see right there, and I'm going to drag, uh, I guess we can do Terraria. So these are two different games, Steam and Terraria, and I'll drag Epic Games. So 
now that you see that we have this up, I'm going to go and do this and shrink the tab a little bit, even more. Perfect. So now you see we have these three applications. For the open, what you can do for Steam is you go to properties and it only works if you have an application that says target. Now let me show you this. If you go onto Terraria, it doesn't have target. It only has URL. Now if we go onto Epic Games, in fact, it does have target. So this is a target location and that is actually what the Elgato is asking for in the app and file category. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to, for Steam, um, you're gonna go copy and paste this. So you just control copy and then control paste. Once you do that, you press enter and you're done. That's all that does. That opens up Steam. Now what I recommend doing is if, you, if we go back to my default profile, you can see there's a Steam right here and it has the same as the other Steam does, but it has the logo. So what you should do is download logos or images of whatever application you're downloading and then upload the image according to the application's function. So I uploaded the Steam image to the Steam open application. Now you guys are probably wondering, Burrito, if I can't get Terraria, or if I can't get a game's target, how am I gonna do this? This is actually a lot easier. So for instance, you can do Steam like that, and you can do Terraria like this. So in fact, you didn't have to look up the target at all. That's, you didn't have to do it. All you have to do is drag and drop. So this open application is quite literally useless. For the text, you can just have something to say, uh, make sure to subscribe. And then we press enter. Perfect. And then we'll make this the title as well. Make sure to subscribe. You can't really see it, but that's okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is all you, all you really need for the open, which I recommend, all you have to do is really, you can make a YouTube if you want it to be, but that's for a website. So I really, if anyone in the comment section knows what the open application, like the open um, app file or folder was used for, can you please let me know? Because me personally, I feel like it was just like super confusing when you came into this system and you're like, oh, I can open up different apps. And then you go through all these apps and some of them don't have the target because from past experience, I knew that you had opening up an application involved a target because that's what you're targeting. And when I would go to like apps like Terraria or Rocket League, it didn't have a target. So I was really stumped and I couldn't really find anything. So all you really have to do is drag it. That's all you have to do. And when you drag it, it comes with the logo. And if you don't like the logo or if you don't like the title, then you don't have to have the title. So I don't really know what this is for. And like I said, you don't, the open application, like it says you can open up a file or folder. Once again, you can just drag and drop it in there. So I really have no idea what the open is for. So if you guys ever have a question on how to like put something on your stream deck, I'd say nine times out of 10, you can just drag and drop it. And for a website, obviously that's one of the easiest things. You just do h uh, com, and that's all you have to do. And you can make the YouTube logo. Like if I go over to default profile, I have everything organized because that's just who I am. I have a Google Chrome logo as the logo for a folder, and I have YouTube, I have Twitch, my Twitch, my YouTube channel, which it opens up my last channel. It has my Discord server right here. So it it has so many different things that you can easily just drag and drop and a lot of these little elements are useless unless you're a streamer and drag, once again, you're dragging and dropping it into the folder. So a lot of this is drag and drop. St stray away from the open key and that doesn't help at all. So if I'm gonna sum this video up in like one sentence, if you have any problems with getting an application on your stream deck, drag and drop, comma.
forget the open application uh, element. So that, uh, that was my little review of the software and some of the problems that I had. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It is, as you can see, 12.06 in the morning, so I'm up doing, I'm grinding, you know? In the race with PewDiePie, I need to get that 300 million subscribers. So if you guys like this video, make sure to uh, like it, share it with your friends because I'm the best YouTuber on the planet. Um, if you do like this video in the next four seconds, you'll get free burritos. I don't know when you are, but you're, you're going to get them sometime. Maybe you'll meet me and I'll give you a free burrito. But um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. This is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge. And once again, I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll see you later.